guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we thought we'd do a little tarot video because someone suggested it and I thought it was a really good idea. I asked some of you on Twitter if you would like to see it and you said yes, so here we are. It's gonna be quite long and quite personal so I might actually have to cut or bleep some things out if it's too personal. You will hear this noise if there is something too personal and I bleep bleeped it out or I will cut some things out. It will be quite long so I do understand if you don't want to watch this video but if you do, grab a cup of tea, grab a snack and join us. Your mum has her tea, her coffee, I keep thinking it's tea and it's not. This is my mother. My mother reads tarot cards and I'm in the midst of learning about tarot and you are too apparently now. Join us on our bed. <laughs> if you were thinking that I was going to be a comedic genius today, well you are wrong because I normally am. But this is a video for tarot to teach you about tarot and to like kind of Break the stigma, I guess, because I was kind of a little bit of a stigma. Before we get into the reading, I will be having my cards read on camera and I'm slightly nervous because we're about to get to know each other on a very spiritual level, <laughs> literally. But before we do that, I thought we'd answer some frequently asked questions because if you're walking into this knowing nothing about tarot, we should probably tell you what it is first. The mother, what is tarot and how does it work? Tarot cards are there to guide you through difficult situations to give you advice and to point out something you need to know. Some readings can be more powerful than others depending on the information in the card. They're just advice. You don't get yes or no answers. You don't, um, there are certain things I'm not allowed to tell you if I see it in the cards. Um, there are rules, what I have to abide by. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're there to help. Can anyone read tarot? No, you've got to have um, something inside you from from the beginning, um, I say the gift, and they take the cringe out of me because <laughs> I say the gift. Cringe. But that's what I've always called it. And the last question which we got was, does getting the death card mean you're going to die? You don't know how many times I get asked <laughs> it. No, it doesn't mean death. It means transition. It means um, the death of something old to make way for something new. We are going to change the angle because in tarot, we are opposite each other, so we're gonna have to put the camera here. And then my beautiful assistant is gonna give us <laughs> a second camera so you can see up close and see what the cards look like, see what I'm doing with my hands and just all that good stuff. I do use a book, but only for point of references. Um, I am able to read between the lines for some reason, I can't explain how. But I do use a book, two books, and you can see how much I've used this book because it's ripped. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shakira. Yeah. I want you to shuffle the cards. I'm so terrified. Put all your energies into the cards and ask a question. So shit at shuffling. So bad. So don't judge, man. We're doing the Celtic cross spread with 10 cards. I never get nice. Uh oh. Are you waiting for the death card? I'm waiting for the death card too. Oh! There's no death card! This is the first time in like ever. however many years we've been doing tarot that I haven't had a death card. You've obviously made the changes then. You've obviously There's made also the a knight here. Oh, I'm scared. Number one, this card here. Two of Cups is your concern. I know about loving emotions, I know a good relationship is emotionally healthy, potential for an engagement, marriage or birth announcement, happy events, plans for the future, trusting intuition. I'm gonna get married kids, no, I'm kidding. You know what a good relationship is and you, you know um, that you've had this card numerous times before. I recognise it um, very well. You know what a good relationship is, you know happy and healthy. Are you concerned at the moment that it your relationship isn't going like that. Yes. It's not um, a potential for engagement, marriage or birth. It's not that in a sense relating yeah, to you. I know, I know, I know. It's the whole relationship, commitment. Kind commitment. Of thing, yeah. yeah, and I feel like a lot with tarot cards, it's very like, it gives you all these messages but it doesn't necessarily mean that directly. It means like indirectly. It means like things that could be associated with it sometimes. Yeah. Number two <gasps> is your obstacle. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Right, well your concern is money. You know money. Um, 
Depression over financial matters, money lost, poverty minded. Um, because it's on its side, uh, you take the good or the negative and the positive from it. Um, I know how to balance my money. So the obstacle is, you to. know what to do with your money, you know where it's got to go, you know you've got good head sense for money, but you ain't gonna. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah, that's so true, that is really true. And that's, a, it's an obstacle because without money, you can't do the you, things. You can't yeah. do anything. Three, that is the Knight of Cups. And it's the Omnicloud. So it kind of, connects with the first card okay obviously the cups cups mean love and emotions uh-huh sorts of problems and troubles uh -huh. ones is um work and social life um pentacles is money obviously because we've just done that i should have done that at the beginning of it so yeah these two cards are linked messages concerning love and emotions did not arrive they did they brought unhappy news this night reverse shows an emotional drain involving relationships friendships or family a potential loss or separation from a loved one. This knight is a procrastinator and can be dishonest. An emotional drain on you sometimes. Oh God. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Would you agree with that? Yes. We both drain each other sometimes. Yeah. Does that card fit with you or is there anybody else that you can fit that card to? I can't... I can't. I can't have anything else. I shouldn't be telling you who it is. I should be just saying this and then you telling me. I thought... That. I have such an overwhelming feeling. I think if, if he doesn't change, um, maybe both of you, yeah, change yeah. doesn't change in the relationship, yep. then it's gonna go downhill. I think there is there's got to be a lot of changes, and that's where yeah. the objective comes in because it can be changed. Okay, it can be sorted. Four swords. Making choices regarding my problems and troubles, the temptation to run away or stay and face a situation, and healthy relationship, lack of knowledge or realisation brings problems, taking a trip over water or near water, mental strain, seek help within. Choice, you've got yeah. choices to make. The temptation to run away or stay and face a situation, um, it would be really easy to say, yeah. and walk away, um, but it takes a, per a real person to stay yeah. and try and sort it out the problem i think that if it carries on it is going to become a really unhealthy relationship if you yeah. both carry on on the path that you're on it's going to become a very unhealthy relationship you put loads of pressure on yourself anyway you're the kind of person that puts loads of pressure on yourself um so the mental strain of the relationship is um it's going to affect you mentally. For fixing the lighting, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just a bit. The sun came out and it was yeah, just like Yeah, it's here fine. I am. Is that eight swords? Yes. Oh, okay. Here it is. Oh, no. Found oh, it. But it's towards me, it's towards me, it's towards Told me. You. I believe in problems and troubles, which means you're not deluded in, in thinking that everything's perfect. No. Um, you know that there are problems and troubles. Um, a desire to overcome others for ego gratification. <laughs> oh. Empty victory. Loss of friend, friends through cruel actions. Unhealthy mental attitude. Rash behaviour. Changes may not be positive now. Desires cloud good sense in relationships. So in the past, mm -hmm. you know what an unhealthy relationship is. Yeah. You've been through it. Um, this is all yep. him, but made the same mistake. In how you deal okay. with this situation. Don't just run away. Don't just see it's all okay. the cards are interlinking. Okay. It's telling you, don't run away. Stay and face it. You know what bad is. <laughs> um, and even though it's not that bad now, maybe you're starting to see little things that... <laughs> that you think hang on a minute that's what he did because of where that is and how it is connected yeah. still to these re these few cards i would yeah i would say that it's bringing it's being brought into the present yeah because of how <laughs> immediate future immediate future 
This queen is associated with problems and troubles. She is often a divorced woman, a, <laughs> wid a widow, or single. The woman is strong-willed, sharp-tongued, and temperamental. This is you. <laughs> she needs a relationship because Libra is a sign of marriage. She has difficulties making decisions. Legal matters may be pending and need attention. So your immediate future is supporting your mother. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, take a leaf out of my book. I think right, that's what okay. it's saying. Take a leaf out of my book. I'm very strong-willed, um, and when I've got something on my mind, I tell that person. Mm -hmm. I said it straight. I think you let Callum get away with too much. All right, okay. I think that's what it is. I think you let Callum get away with too much. Put him in his place, kind of. Not in a horrible way. I don't mean that in a horrible way. But it's like when I had... Yeah. Try ...treating me like that, I stood up to him in the end. I'm not saying that that's the same no, situation, okay. but... You need to stand up for what you believe in. I'm not yeah. being treated like that. I'm not being spoken to like that. Is that Seven of Swords? Yeah. So this is about your question. I didn't really... I asked a few questions, but it was thoughts. more like thoughts and subjects, really. Like tell, money actually. was one of them. Mm -hmm. Grandad was one of them. And yeah, Callum was the other one. So yeah. you've got to our three so far. <laughs> Taking the path to problems and troubles. Okay. The situation is temporary. Yeah. See, I told you. <laughs> Mentally creating problems in relationships. Feeling cheated or experiencing loss of valuables. Danger through travel or sports. <laughs> Desire for a new experience, but not in an honest way. Pay attention. Loss of valuables, um, all of my shit has gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Mentally creating problems in relationship. I think this is... <laughs> and I think that's him mentally creating problems in the relationship, problems that aren't there. This reading is becoming all about lies and... Deceit. Yeah, because it's saying that you need to... See something. Something's not right. I need to face the I truth. I need to face the truth. I need to see the truth. But I don't know but the truth, But you didn't so know. There's a lot of truths. Eight outside influences. Materialistic approach to life, blind faith and mistaken judgments. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, so because of that, I can't see the truth. Maybe that's why you can't, you can't see, see the, the truth. truth. Because Ah, that would make this. sense because I'm letting him get away with it. Oh, I get it. Boom. Do you oh. need me to elaborate? Do you, um, no, 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 it's good. I've got it. But that isn't a good outside influence. No, that's not. That isn't a very good outside no. influence. No, so got you, it. Something needs to be done about that. And now this has just confirmed what I said to you yeah. the other day. Is that okay? Can yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, we can move on. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. It's the oh. tower. What is coming out of the tower? Is it seaweed? Refusing to change old habit patterns. The focus is on sexuality, jealousy and resentment. Fear, frustration and danger from unseen sources. Limited understanding. Freedom is in jeopardy. Financial troubles. Wrong use of will. Materialistic views. Oh, God. Again. So it's only hopes and fears. Okay. So it's a fear. It's a fear, okay. Because it's the wrong way. Your fear, your, your fear is that he's not going to change and he's just going to turn this. Oh. Yeah. You can tell me if I'm wrong. No, that's true. But it's a fear. And that's true. I see. We've got a page now. What's this one, the last one? The outcome. Woo. This page is eager to experience work and social activity. She desires freedom, is headstrong and independent. Study of philosophy are many of his this page's interests. Action is the aim of the goal of this page. Good news about work or experiences. It's you. It's basically saying that you're gonna go far whatever happens. Okay. You you've got luck on your side, international travel, foreign foods, anything is possible. It's just pointing out to you that you are a strong person yeah. you, you are this. you can do this because you've got so much going for you yeah action is the aim of this page yeah i think that is just trying to reaffirm to you that you've got luck on your side you 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 can go and you can do whatever you like um believe in yourself i think that's the moral of this reading don't forget who you are thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a massive thumbs up and please comment something that you've learned about tarot or that 
you know, you're just interested in it, just comment something about tarot because that'd be really interesting to see your thoughts on it. Have we changed your mind? Have we just reaffirmed your belief in it? Let me know. I'd love to know. My mum is not a YouTuber, so there will be no links to her <laughs> in the description. Not yet. Not um, yet. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week for another video. Ready, mum? What?